We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for you. In this video, we are going to begin work on this base. You can see it has a lot of different elements on it. And the first thing that we're going to do is work on the cobblestones. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave it down below in the comments. Now this is the base for a Gale Force 9 Eye Tyrant or Beholder Mini. And we're going to use it to paint a dark cobblestone that has a few stones that are slightly different shades. The first color we're going to use is going to be Skaven Blight Dinge. And we want to apply this as a heavy dry brush over all of the cobblestones. As I said before, several of these cobblestones are going to end up being slightly different colors. However, we want to start them out with a solid base just so they look like they're a unified floor. So this is going to give us a really nice point to start from. I'm not using any sort of fancy dry brush or anything like that. I'm just using some of my old brushes that have lost their tip. And I'm just putting very little paint on my brush and doing lots of repeated strokes to make sure that the paint goes on smoothly. If the paint's too thick on the brush, then it's gonna get really streaky and that's not what we want out of our dry brush. Here's the base after that Skaven Blight Dinge has been applied. The next color we're gonna use is gonna be Dawnstone. This is also going to be applied as a dry brush over all of the cobblestones. And this is a nice neutral gray that's going to make up the majority of our cobblestone flooring. We're going to cover this color in a few areas, but just quickly dry brushing the whole base is going to save us some time since this is what's going to make up most of our gray color. Here's the base after we've highlighted everything with that Dawn Stone. Now we're going to break up the color by picking out a few different stones to be slightly different shades to make everything look a little bit more dynamic. The first color we're going to use is going to be Rust Gray. And I'm also dry brushing this on. I just want to pick a few places. And you can see that this gray, even though it's about the same lightness, has blue hints to it that make it stand out from the neutral gray that we used before. We picked out three different areas to cover with that rust gray. The next color we're going to use is going to be Bane Blade Brown. We're doing the same process with this color. We're just picking out a few cobblestones that we're going to highlight with this Bane Blade color. You can see that this color is a really warm gray, kind of between a gray and a brown, and that makes it stand out from the neutral gray that we had before. Here's the base after the Bane Blade Brown has been applied. We picked out a few more stones than we did with the Rust Gray. The last color we want to use is going to be Carrick Stone. This is another really warm gray. And it's very similar to Bane Blade Brown, but when the two are next to each other, you can see that this Carrick Stone has just a little bit more yellow in it. Here's the cobblestone now that we have all of the base colors down. The next thing that we're going to do is weather it up a little bit. And we're going to do that by applying Agrax Earthshade over all of the cobblestones, regardless of their color. And the reason we want to do that is even though these cobblestones are slightly different shades, they would all be weathered the exact same way since they exist in the same area of the dungeon. So we're just going to lightly paint this over the top of all of these stones. You can see as we apply it, it's really going to accentuate all of the texture that's been sculpted on this base. We want it to sink down into the cracks and then we're pushing it around all of the flat stones, making sure that it doesn't get too thickly anywhere so that it doesn't pool. And then while the Agrax Earth Shade is still wet, I want to take a little bit of Coelia Green Shade and I want to dab that into my Agrax Earth Shade a little bit so the two kind of blend together. I'm doing this just to kind of break up the brown a little bit and just to add another really subtle pop of color. Here's the base after those shades have been allowed to dry. We want to highlight our cobblestones a little bit and we're going to do that by using Administratum Gray. And this is just going to be a light dry brush over the whole base. Because all the colors we used were different types of grays, using this neutral one will highlight all of our colors 
and it's just one more element that will kind of unify all of the different stones even though they're slightly different shades. I don't want to be too heavy handed, I'm just dry brushing this very lightly. You can see I'm not putting a lot of pressure with my brush. I'm just kind of doing a little bit of a feathering over the top and catching the edges of each of these stones. All right, now the cobblestones themselves are entirely done. The final thing that we wanna do is we want to paint the mud into the cracks a little bit. There's a few areas where the cobblestone has broken and there's dirt showing through. For this dirt, the first color we wanna use is Gothor Brown. We're gonna mix it with a little bit of Lamian Medium and we're applying it into the cracks that have sculpted dirt inside them. Not every crack does, some of the cracks are too small to have a little bit of earth showing through, but anywhere where the gap is really wide, we wanna get this nice rich brown painted onto that area. Once we've applied the Gorthor Brown, we're going to put some more Agrax Earthshade on top of the grains of sand just to deepen the shadow. And after that Agrax Earthshade has been allowed to dry, the base work for the cobblestones is complete. Now we just have to paint all the other elements that are on top in this treasure hoard. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I'm going to begin painting the treasure chests on this base in the mini wargaming vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a vault membership, go ahead and click the link. You can sign up for a seven day free trial and get access to my video as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini wargaming vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial and happy wargaming.